Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install uh, some software to receive NOAA weather satellite images from the NOAA satellites. So uh, I'm using a Raspberry Pi for this with a uh, RTL USB dongle plugged in. Now we're only going to be focused on the software side. We're not going to worry about the hardware, the antenna or whatnot. So uh, <clears throat> I got my USB uh, RTL plugged in and let's get started. I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description to my website for the uh, information for this. But uh, we're going to install a couple packages here <clears throat> to get things up and moving. So we'll let that install. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, clone the uh, RTL software so we can go ahead and uh, make and install that then uh, <clears throat> we're going to blacklist uh, some things install the WXTOIMG software set up your Latin long and uh, make a couple uh, scripts and we'll uh, should be pretty much ready to go then it's mainly hardware after that so we'll let this install and I'll be back all right so now that that is updated we're going to I mean installed we're going to go ahead and download our RTL then we're going to CD into that guy then we're going to do a CMake on it we have an error. Oh, sorry. I missed a step. Jumping the gun. We need to make a directory. And we'll CD into that guy. And we'll clear that. Now, let's try this again. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Now, we'll make... Then after it's made, we'll go ahead and do a sudo make install. Then we'll run the LD command, copy the rule, and blacklist it. Then we'll uh, do a reboot on it to make sure the uh, RTL is working. But we'll let this go, and I'll be right back. All right, so now that it's done, we'll type in sudo make install. Then we will do the following. Then we'll CD out that guy. Copy the rules. With that being done, now we're going to do sudo nano. Then we are going to blacklist our RTL here. Then we're going to add in the following three lines control X Y and enter to save uh, we'll flip back and we'll just go ahead and do a reboot here I'll be right back all right now it's time to install the WX software so we'll go ahead and get that done Alright, so now that that's downloading, then we'll go ahead and depack it. <coughs> then we are going to type in predict. Now it's going to come up. We're going to type, hit the letter G because we want to edit our ground information. Now you can let this however you like. Now, uh, this is going to be a little bit backwards so uh, say for example if this was a uh, negative 7 2 you'll actually let the negative out so and the altitude is in meters so you can just type in whatever you want here hit enter go to the next thing type in whatever you feel 
and so on your altitude is in meters then once you hit enter you'll come back to this we'll hit Q to exit and once you're done with that we're gonna go ahead and type in the following because we need to accept the term so we'll type in yes <clears throat> then once we do that we need to make a file and we need to type in copy in and update basically what numbers you put in for the predict you want to put here now this is kind of normal I guess you could say so you'll want to put the minus sign there for the lat for the long then you'll just want to save it whatever yours may be then we need to make a directory we can name it weather then we're going to cd into that guy make another one and we can name this predict cd into him Now that that's done, here's where we're going to make our three scripts to make all this work. So, we're going to nano into that guy, but actually I think I would want to use sudo. Then, copy in the following here. Control X, Y, and Enter. Control X, Y, and Enter. Oh, I'm not thinking here. Let's back up. Now, let's copy this in here. I'll have to update my thing here all right so now that that one's done so if we do an ls you can see here we have it so now we need to scroll down here and now we need to make the following Then we'll paste in this guy. Control X, Y, and Enter. Then we have one more. Then we'll just save this one. So now you should have three of them here so now we need to do another three commands here I'll add the sudos here on my website I forgot to do that so we don't have to make this worse than what it is okay so now that these are all green and executable we can go into our Chrome tab and if you if this is a fresh install whatever you want to use here it's up to you but we'll just do two we're going to scroll down here to the bottom add the following control X Y and enter if you're using nano and uh, do a reboot and that should be pretty much it you should be able to receive uh, images if your antenna and things are hooked up right and all that so another thing what we can do is 
if we do a T A T Q we might have to actually run this command here first then run the ATQ and there we go we have a, a, a pass coming up here soon for today and uh, pretty much that is it uh, so thanks for watching stay tuned for another one don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe